Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Landy, the Modern Mama. This weekend we are going to Mexico and I tried a bunch of different bags and I just decided that ultimately I needed a big boy. So we are going with the Weekender from Fawn. It's this really beautiful gray color, gold hardware. You can carry it two ways by the straps just like this or as a messenger bag with the strap that can come off as well if you don't wanna hold it that way. So um, I got this bag off my registry when Gentry was born and I actually ended up using it as my hospital bag and I loved it. And I really love just the quality, the durability. I've ended up using this as Gentry's travel bag anytime we go on just like a little weekend trip to the lake or somewhere that's close by. And it's been the perfect size for everything. So I think I'm really gonna enjoy using it as my carry-on, especially since I'm gonna be packing horizontally and being able to see everything very easily. A quick review of the outside. There is a front slip pocket right here with a small zipper pocket in the front. This can't fit much, but maybe just your phone if you wanted a place to put it quickly. On the sides, there are two large, I don't know if I would call them water bottle pockets, but there are two side pockets, um, one on each side. And then on the back, there's also a travel, uh, a trolley, little sleeve case which is nice if you are taking it for travel so going to the inside how I have this bad boy packed up this is just a view looking from the top and I will switch it to be a little bit more of a bird's eye view so you can see a little bit more easily okay so looking at the bag from the top I did use the Lily Jade packing cubes um, or packing cases I used two sets of them black and gold and then they're I think they call it jade and gold um, I really prefer these when traveling since they have a clear front so that is what I'm using today so just looking from the top down I've got a uh, peas snack cup just sitting on the top I'm leaving it empty um, until we get to the airport and I'll fill it once we get there because I didn't want anything to get stale but I have a few different things that I can throw in here and it has a removable little suction part that can really work well on the tray table for the plane. So um, that way he can you know, use his little snacks and this is his favorite one anyway, so I definitely wanted this on the trip. So I really prefer horizontal packing. I figured that out in the last few months that it really is the way to go in terms of not losing anything at the bottom of your bag. And besides this not being able to be on my back and be completely hands-free, I just prefer the look of this and not having a never-ending pit, especially while traveling and not being able to see where everything is. So at the very back, I just have sitting a 12 little change pad. This is a light one and it's easily uh, wipeable. So I just have that sitting like that in the bag. Then on my first Lily J packing cube, this is the largest of the three. They come with three and they all have a little D-ring on the side and it comes also with a little wristlet so you can attach it to any of the three. But this is the large one and in here I have toys for Gentry. So I've got um, a little dimple toy, a couple of these little, uh, I can't remember what they're called, but little pulley twisty things that are super fun. I've got a little doodah, whatever this is called. And then in this small set piece from Jujube, I have little tiny push car toys. And in a second one, I have the Fat Brain Mini Squigs. So this is half of the packet. It came with double this amount, but this is just a perfect amount for the plane and he can stick them on the window. I have a little um, thing that you can thread through the apple, a little pot, uh, dimple toy. And I think that's it for like the non techie toys, but those will be fun and then also be come in handy on the trip, the actual trip too. The second large packing cube in the Jade is filled with all of our snacks. So we've got tons and tons and tons of snacks. I've got um, a reusable silly, go silly straw. I've got a chewy pouch top for pouches, Z bars, Fig Newton bars, fruit snacks, some, um, little freeze-dried yogurt snacks, pouches down in there, and then a couple of these um, tray table uh, throwaway disposable covers that you can put on the tray table in front of you, and that way you don't have to be sanitizing everything all the time. So that is also in there. And then the medium packing cube is, I've got the wristlet on it, um, is diapers. So I have two diapers in here, wipes, 
some boogie bottom spray and my throwaway baggies. So I'll just grab this and my uh, change pad when I go to the bathroom and I can quickly do a diaper change. I also will have another probably six-ish diapers in a pouch in my husband's backpack just to replenish this. And that way I'm not having a hundred diapers in here at one time. Um, but I've got backup if needed. And just sitting on the bottom of the bag, I have two really lightweight blankets. One to cover his car seat if he uh, needs a little bit of darkness to help him sleep. And then one um, to actually cover him if it's cold. So I just have those sitting at the bottom of the bag, which also kind of gives some height to the packing cubes. On this side elastic pocket, I've got my larger um, keep going first aid kit. This isn't the biggest one, it's the like travel size one, but not the mini one. Um, but it's just super awesome to have, especially we're not staying at a hotel, we're staying at a house. And so I just never know what they have in terms of first aid. So I wanna be prepared in terms of the safety of me and my children. So this is always gonna be coming with us and fits just perfectly in that pocket. Then we've got another elastic pocket right here. And in here, I just have some boogie wipes for his face. Then the back of this bag has a slip pocket right here with a zipper pocket right in front of it. I don't have anything in those at the moment. Then there's another slip pocket right here. I don't have anything in that one either. Then on the front of the bag, there's another slip pocket. And in here I have his just mini portable sound machine. We used this when he was really little. And so it'll come in handy if he falls asleep, then I can at least drown out some of the noise by having this on. Then another slip pocket right here and another one right here. And in this one, I just have a wet bag in case we have any dirty clothes that is securely in there. Then on the side, I have a couple of the smaller packing cases. So this is the smallest of the three. And in this, I have a change of clothes and another pair of socks in case he soils his clothing. In the smallest black one, I have um, just more first aid type stuff and medications. I am not the mom who is afraid to give my kid Motrin when we go in on flight, so <laughs> judge me if you want to, but I have Motrin in here and Tylenol, a syringe, a bug bite thing. This is a must on our trip, especially going somewhere that's gonna have a lot of mosquitoes. Gentry really blows up when he gets mosquito bites. Some spray Neosporin. And then in this little baggie, I have smaller things like some more, um, this is called the Simply Neosporin, so it's like really minimal ingredients. Some Oragel day and night, he is teething. I have a Benadryl itch stick. I've got a small thermometer just in case. I have another um, antibiotic ointment. And then last but not least, at the very bottom, I've got a couple of these Pedialyte packets. Um, you know, the kids get really, and yourself, get really dehydrated when traveling, and so it won't hurt to just throw this in his, in his water bottle just to keep him extra hydrated. So I just have two of those in here, and then I'm also bringing more in my suitcase just in case. And then the medium of the jade is filled with just all sorts of wipes. So these Arm & Hammer wipes are great for like pacifiers. Gentry never took a pacifier, but also for toys. I'm sure he'll be dropping lots of them on the floor. So using these is a great way to clean your toys off. Clorox wipes for all your surfaces right when you get on the plane. And then wet ones just for your hands and whatnot. And then I also saw this at Target and I just grabbed it. I haven't used this before, but it's a to-go Lysol spray. So it can never hurt to just spray some of this in the seat area once you just sit down. So that is in the medium packing case. So now you're looking at the bag in its entirety. So obviously, again, there's three slip pockets on the front, a slip pocket on the side, two slip pockets on this side, uh, or elasticized pockets, I'm sorry, slip pocket in the middle with a zipper pocket on the front. And then lastly, there is another slip pocket on this side. And in here I have a thing of um, little veggie straws and of Bomba, which is his absolute favorite. So this is where that snack cup's gonna come into play. I've got him in here and I'll just open it up when he's ready to eat them pour in the snack cup, and then just toss these. So hopefully they won't get too scrunched in here. So that's how I have everything packed in this bag. Then there's a few other things that I'm gonna have in either my bag or my husband's bag, just that didn't, I don't wanna overcrowd this, and we have plenty of room in our bags, so I'll get to that in one second. 
Okay, so the few last things that aren't gonna be in that carry-on are gonna be my extra diapers that I'm gonna carry in my husband's backpack. This is another about six diapers. And another tip I suggest is using nighttime diapers for the airport or your and or your day of travel. They just hold a little bit more um, and so you won't have to worry about leaking and things like that. So I do use nighttime diapers. But again, I just have about six extras in here and this is just gonna go down in my uh, husband's backpack. Then in terms of electronics, I have these little headphones. I used them on his first flight or his first few flights throughout his first year of life. And it just kind of helps take some of the pressure off. I saw this on an influencer's page that had a kid as close to Gentry's age and I got him and he really liked him. Um, he was kind of fascinated by them. I don't know if he's gonna like them this trip, but I'm still gonna bring them just in case. Um, it's not, they're, you know, they just block out the sound. So they're not like headphones. Then we did end up getting Gentry an iPad mini not too long ago. So um, this has an OtterBox case on it and this thing came with it. it can, go on the headrest of the car. I'm not sure if it's gonna go on the plane, but I figured we might as well use it uh, or bring it and see if we can use it. So I already have things downloaded on here for him. It's fully charged and turned off. So that way it's ready to go for the trip. Then this is Bluetooth headphones that also have capability of being plugged in, but um, just you know for that way, if he's watching a show or whatever, he can have his own. So these will also be in my husband's backpack. And then lastly, I will have in my backpack his water bottle because I've got, I'm gonna be using the Lily Jade Caroline bag as my carry-on. And I'm gonna have his water bottle with just water or juice, one of the two. And then I'm gonna bring this simple modern 22 ounce water bottle um, filled with whole milk. It will stay cold for the day. And I just don't know exactly if we'll be able to get any when we're on the other side. So, um, or on the plane specifically. So I'm just gonna have this filled with milk. You are allowed to bring it. You just have to take it out and let them check it um, when you go through security. So water and milk will be ready to go. Um, and then I'll also have an empty bottle for his milk when he's ready to take that bottle um, in my bag as well. So that is it for my day of travel bag. I will also be doing a video on what I've got packed in my suitcase for a week at the beach. So be sure to check it out. I'll see you till next time.